What's good, you guys? I'm Chanel with Pussy Charm, and this is your daily vibe. Today is Jupiterian Thursday, so we're gonna get into Jupiter energy and the moon. And really quickly, a quick announcement if you are desiring to get a reading, we still have 33% off all of our readings until the end of the month, December 31st. So check that out while you can. And if you are feeling generous, feel free to leave a tip in my cash app. I appreciate the love. So let's get into this Thursday energy, shall we? So let's see, let me pull this up. So today the moon is in Aquarius, but before we get into talking about the moon being in Aquarius, Jupiter is still in Capricorn at its 29th degree. On the 20th, it will be moving into Aquarius along with Saturn, and on the 21st, it will be coming into an exact conjunction with Saturn. So right now, we may be feeling the tail end of you know, that last bit of energy of restructuring those beliefs it is that we have been holding that need to be released, the things that keep us from being able to feel comfortable within ourselves, within our goals, within our sense of wholeness, you know, really allowing the past to be the past so that we can move forward into the future right which is what jupiter is a lot about and really be able to expand on what it is that we have been building what it is that we have been you know cultivating up until this time and we may be about to find a lot of success in something that we have been uh, working towards in regards to wherever capricorn is in our charts Right, because when Saturn leaves a sign, it it brings gifts. When Jupiter leaves a sign, it gives gifts. So Saturn's gifts are long term; they last. For Jupiter, I'm not saying that they don't last, but they're big, they're expensive, they're grand, you know, on a scale of things, and you know, they're very benevolent in it kind of provides us with something that we have we didn't expect you know but before but because we chose to apply apply the effort no matter how difficult it may have seemed no matter how much we felt we had to complain during the time it still works out and pays back tenfold you know so jupiter is in a is in connection with Venus and that's now in Sagittarius so and we'll talk about that tomorrow on Friday and basically um this is you know feeling very light in love a lot of learning and love connecting on a very fun and jovial um energy you know because jupiter is the ruler that being committed to this to what it is that this this venus and sagittarius energy kind of portrays for us uh, offers us you know that key because we are unlocking the door to a lot more lightheartedness than when venus is in scorpio which is a lot heavier you know but now it is um you know, we are now being able to really solidify the, you know, the types of relationship that we want. And if we haven't gotten there, totally willing to put in whatever efforts that needs to be put in in order to bring that manifestation into fruition, you know, and also really be able to find success in that. We may also be finding ourselves being recognized for the work it is that we have put in as well with Jupiter being Capricorn because Capricorn is about our social standing our public image you know not just success this is how other people see us externally you know so we may be really feeling that really in, in like an intense way because it's at its um uh, 29th degree, which I believe is called an anoretic degree. Don't quote me because I can't remember what the actual word is. 
let me cut this light on in one second. Okay, so yes, um, so this is this energy being very forward, very present, very vocal in a sense, you know, and let me see what else. Oh, excuse me. You know, that's really the only aspect I want to talk about. Well, that's really the only aspect that exists, honestly. <laughs> There's nothing else here. It's about to go. Jupiter is in a slight um, harmonious connection with Chiron. So we may really be seeing the truth of these wounds it is that we have kind of been holding on to. How it is that that's been holding us back from being able to expand and recognizing what it is that we need to continue doing in order to be able to receive the benevolence you know, that Jupiter has to offer us, you know, and really lightening the load, especially once Jupiter moves into Aquarius uh, earlier in next week. And so the energy is really about to shift. It's not going to be an overnight thing, but we will feel lighter, you know, it will feel better. And so the moon is in Aquarius today. So with the moon in Aquarius, you know, this can be a lot of focus on community aspects and even really move, operating from a higher space of consciousness in the home and even how it is that we've been going about mothering, connecting with our mothers, connecting with our family but also feeling very lighthearted and friendly and fun and connecting with our families and people that we love, you know, and, you know, feeling very rooted in moving toward our purpose, right? Because while, while we were sleeping, the moon was in a conjunction with a Saturn. So this is about, you know, the time, the timing of things, you know, also of things kind of being worked out for the greater good really um on a heart level in a direction that is really going to serve us even if it seems at the moment that it's not right because it's going to trigger something within us as a collective that is going to encourage us to band together and you know, connect and, you know, love with one another and be understanding of one another and accepting of one another. And so with the moon also, with the moon being in Aquarius, we may be really desiring to tap into our uniqueness, our our individuality, our sense of autonomy, which is a little bit different than sovereignty. Autonomy is more of freedom, where sovereignty is freedom as well, but it's about the freedom when it comes to what laws are carried around us and within, where Aquarius's autonomy is about our individuality within the whole, right? So with that we may be very focused on what it is that we can personally give to another versus well just in a humanitarian kind of philanthropy ish energy you know giving without a need to receive anything back you know but it we may also be desiring to connect with our friendships as well and maybe even focus on our learn long-term goals within our relationships right because it's in a it's in a connection and an alignment with venus so that is us basically uh, hmm, you know focused on the future of love love for everyone love for ourselves you know love for our spouses our partners our husbands our wives so the moon will also be coming in contact with Chiron. So there may be some healing taking place in regards to any identity wounds, how it is that we have been seeing and perceiving ourselves, how it is that we have been believing others to perceive us because Aquarius is about other people, you know, and maybe finding ourselves correcting 
these ideas, right? Because the moon is about how we think, the process in which we think. And really lightening that up to see the truth, right? Because Aquarius is also about the truth on some level, but like the, a higher octave, uh, collective, quantum truth, soul-based truth, you know? And recognizing that we can, if this might bring that energy of seeing that we can just kind of let go of a thing. We don't need to really heal from it. We can just let it go and let it be what it was and be like, okay, well, that was all right. I experienced that. It gave me this and I am better for it. And if we don't have not been seeing ourselves as better for the experience, we are ex come, we are walking into this energy that is lending us a hand at changing our perspective and seeing it that way. All right. So let's see what else is going on for the moon throughout the day so it is going to be square to is this is a tense connection with um uranus uranus is the ruler of aquarius so this might actually work out fairly well uh changes it, this may prompt some changes in regards to how it is that we have been going about valuing ourselves, what it is that we see as worthy, our possessions. There may even be some conflict or something that needs to be resolved when it comes to the things that we have, our possessions, and needing to take a, to see things differently in a sense. Or this may even trigger us to that that anxious state that Aquarius has when it comes to feelings, you know. But at the same time, it may be easily may it may be easier for us to detach from the feeling so that we can work things out in a way that is beneficial to all involved. But at the same time, if you have been putting in effort into this, this, this aspect or this revelation that's coming up, you may be also receiving good news about anything that has to do with finances, anything that has to do with um, material things, love relationships as well. It, I don't, it, this doesn't feel conflictual. If anything, on a collective level, it might be because this is about what we have, right, and our feelings of that and how that affects everybody on a collective level. Something, hmm, hmm. I don't know what's going to happen today, but... We may be hearing something in the mainstream news or just, you know, something in regards to everything that's already been going on. There may be some changes coming about to that that may be bring some type of relief in a sense, or it may bring some type of upset because it disrupts what it is that we have been valuing all of, up until this point in time. So let's continue going throughout the day. And that might be coming about like two, three o'clock. That's the central standard time, mind you. Okay. So That is pretty much it for today in the aspects with the moon and with Jupiter. And so we can go ahead and get into the cards and see what they have for us. I'm still looking at these aspects, you guys. Now with this moon coming into this, but okay, so with that tense energy, it's gonna be passing, right? Because anything with the moon is not lasting. It's almost 
like we are have to come to this space of kind of seeing how things are going to play out because it's going to have to do with something when it comes to our beliefs our having faith trusting in a thing in our sovereignty right and what it is that we desire along these lines so again i don't see it being anything that is too your rightness it, it disrupts but not in a very wild way unless it's like an accident or something so do take care in your possessions and how it is that you're going about handling them also in regards to health matters uh just take care about you know anything coming up in regards to that so let's see Let's get energy a little bit. Let's get energy a little bit. Let's get energy a little bit. What insight do you have for us today of December 17th, 2020? On this Jupiter and Thursday, what would you like for us to know today? What guidance would you like for us to take? What would you like for us to become aware of that we are not currently in the knowing of? Just <laughs> wow. Okay, so yes, uh, we got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a Jupiter card. And today is Jupiterian Thursdays. So we are basically the wheel is turning, karma is shifting for us, good or bad, regardless of you know, and I don't want to even say sh karma, just cycles. We're moving either into a new cycle. We are moving into a new cycle of either gaining or having to apply what it is that we learned through how we have been going about things, you know, and really transmuting this fixed energy, the places it is that we have kind of been stuck, having a hard time changing, that is moving forward, you know really putting in the efforts and being able to make that happen, focusing on ourselves, you know, mastering ourselves, you know, and continuing to build as we can as with what it is that we have, you know, in utilizing everything, right? Because the, the Wheel of Fortune breaks down to the magician. So this is about really utilizing, uh, what is here you know we have everything it is that we need it is just a matter of us going about and using it you know creating it into something better creating it into something more valuable than what it is that we already see it as you know so let's see Spirit, what else is here for us what else would you like for us to know And the Will of Fortune is very lucky energy. So we may be coming into something that was not expected in a sense, and that may be paying off for us. Now, some of us may be having a hard time breaking out of old cycles, especially surrounding our beliefs. You know, so recognize where it is that you're still holding on to what it is that needs to that needs to be let go of, you know that can better serve you to make the load lighter. But I really feel like that we are releasing the burdens that have been weighing us down, you know, and just 
sticking to what it is that has to be done, you know, and being okay with that. Right. So we are definitely going somewhere new in Rama. Where are you being called to journey? Where are you being called to journey to? Where where's that inkling been pulling you? Where do you feel that you have been guided to go? You know, you are we are shifting our energy. We are moving forward into something different than what it is that we've been experiencing over the past three and a half years past year you know a lot of things that have been expected has happened unexpected has happened and it's in a sense it's coming to a close it's coming to an end things are changing in a way a really unexpected way so where has this been propelling you on a personal level what is it that you need to do that you need to take care of you know that you have whether that has been being neglected you know, or something that just needs to be left behind, you know, and so that you can continue move, moving forward in a way that it's not so heavy, you know. So let's see what else is here. Okay, so let's Wow, like, they're really not playing with us today, all right? Because, first of all, the bottom card is fire. So fire is about releasing everything to the fire that can no longer move forward with us. So, it's like, things are very, are very much shifting. We got the eagle. The eagle speaks about, again, moving forward differently. So what routines it is that you have been caught in that you need to release and let go of? Um, uh, what is it that, where has... Where do you need to activate your will a little bit more so that you can move forward a little bit more freely? It's, it's, it's a call to see the forest for the trees, right? What has been working and what has not? It's time to let that go. Let's see furthermore what the eagle has to say for us. It says, the eagle comes from the east, the place of the rising of new beginnings. She, short, she soars high in the sky, sees the smallest detail with clarity without losing track of the bigger picture. The nest in the high mountains. For the eagle, there are no obstacles, only opportunities. She calls you to ascend, to acquire perspective so you can fly wing to wing with great spirit. The invitation says, how have you become trapped in your daily routine and feel you do not know where to go or what to do next? Have you lost your sense of purpose? The eagle invites you to take a deep breath and spread your wings. When, spread your wings. When was the last time you opened them? The eagle reminds you that your spirit was born to soar to the heavens. As you contemplate choices, ask yourself, do I want to live in a chicken coop, shelter from life, counting the regular feedings, or do I want to soar like an eagle? If your answer is the latter, then you must accept Eagle's invitation and embrace the courage that will help you choose freedom. The medicine says it's time to see through the Eagle's eyes. Let your vision of the whole and its parts become laser-like and set your priorities straight. What did you come to do in this life? Did you come to climb, climb up the ladder of financial or social success? Did you come to become a better person, to heal your heart, and to realize your essential self? What is your divine mission here on earth? No more excuses. Of course, you do not have enough time, enough money, or enough sleep. Yet the time is now to fly to your chosen purpose. If you postpone it, you are betraying yourself. Look through the eyes of the eagle and consider every obstacle as an opportunity. Where you set your intention is where you'll end up. For yourself and live your highest destiny. Fly. So, basically, it's time to 
of let go of anything that has been like any type of limiting self beliefs that has you've been holding on to. Like this energy is so Jupiterian. Ooh, wow, right? Because even this Emirama card about where you being called to is about the journey. Jupiter is about the journey. It's the pilgrimage. The where are you traveling to? You know, let go of what is keeping you from being able to see the opportunities that are right here in your face you know because the book said you don't have enough of something but i say you have everything that you need all right because anything else is just hearsay all right so the ego is also about having courage it's about faith as well you know, flying wing to wing with spirit, knowing that you are guided, knowing that you are trusted, know that spirit has your back, you know, and really being able to <clears throat> see clearly through the eyes of the eagle, the forest for the trees, right? So maybe it's time for you to do things for others, but to carry out, I don't know, the fox is about being sly, it's about being cunning, you know, not necessarily in a deceitful way, although the fox is about deceit, but it, in this aspect, it is not. Um, it also makes me want to say, be careful where you have been deceiving yourself in a space that you feel like that you can't move into where it is that you've been journeying to, that you do not have the opportunity, that you cannot act on your whims, on your laurels, because you can, you know, do secret favors for others, or maybe allow other people to do secret favors for you, right, so that you can be supported in your efforts, and perhaps you doing things for other people will help jumpstart you as an opportunity to move into what you want to do when I know when I decided to really get serious about reading tarot I used to get this card all the time and at the time what I was doing was giving readings to my close to the closest people in my life you know and that was me doing secret favors for others really helping them um, supporting them holding space for them and figuring things out you know um, utilizing the tarot to connect with their inner their inner music their inner voice so I'm not saying your thing is similar but maybe whatever you do you can offer it to somebody see if somebody needs that help that's very Aquarian energy you know very Sagittarian Jupiterian energy really being there for others and supporting them in the space that they're in in their times of need all right, and that's the time we're really coming into with Jupiter and Saturn being in Aquarius, really supporting people who at the time don't have the means to do for themselves. You know, really being that humanitarian being in that space. Spirit, what else do you want to do for this? Really? at the bottom Sagittarius is here wow okay so we got the first house so the first house is about the this is Aries energy right now we have Mars and Chiron and Aries so this is about where have you not been moving this is what what it is what is it that you have been holding on that you have been allowing to block you you know and not even literally block you just block you from a way of perceiving a way of perception right because the first house is about projection and the way it is that we see ourselves it's about our outward appearance it's about our health as well so maybe you need to take some time to take care of your health if that's something that you haven't been doing uh, applying some movement to your life if you need that but another thing what how have you been identifying with yourself what have you been identifying as it may be time to change that time to align with something a little bit different change your beliefs about yourself so that you can really align with what it is that you want to do that may be the blockage and you um not being able to get into the type of routines that you need for your life for your life for those that you support in everything like that you know so 
maybe take a moment to sit with that and see what it is that looks like for you. Where have you not been aligned to yourself, your truth, who it is that you are, who you see yourself to be, you know, versus who other people see you to be? Because this is about appearances, right? This is the masks that we wear. And what masks have you been wearing for too long? It's time to take it off because it's not who you are. It's time to get down to the truth of who it is that you are, right? So that you can move forward in alignment with where it is that you're going. And while the eagle came up at the bottom too, the eagle's here twice. So spirit is really calling for us to take the leap. You know, it's time to make the change, really time to be courageous. And, you know, an eagle can be flying at like 30 miles an hour and pick something up off the ground. It lands at like 100 plus miles an hour. That's a superpower. <laughs> All right. That is a freaking superpower. And you can do the same thing. Not literally, but y'all get what I'm saying. I hope you get what I'm saying. If you're watching this, you get what I'm saying. So, let's see. Yeah. So, the fish is here. And the fish here, for one, this is the Four of Cups. So, the Four of Cups. One speaks about missing the um, missing what it is that you are being given, right? Missing what it is that spirit is offering you that you kind of contracted in a sense of being able, not being able, but came here to carry out. You know, I'm looking up something I had wrote down about these cards. Mm. Anywho, um, but this represents a lot of luck, and it also represents riches and fulfillment. It represents being able to swim upstream as well, being able to kind of come from the depths and see the light, and it, it is basically about gaining self-awareness, right, because the fish is like under this dark sea, and then it comes to the surface like, oh, this is up here. <laughs> I didn't know this was up here. This is up here, right? So basically, uh, just a need to really recognize that once you shift your energy, and once you shift the way in which it is that you've been seeing things, that you can give to people, that you can show to people, that is going to offer you a lot of abundance into your life. It's also going to help you cultivate more of what it is. It's, it's also going to give you the footing of this new thing that you're moving into. And sometimes it's important, not sometimes, all the time, it's important to have that so that we can feel confident in ourself, right? Because the first house is about the self. Maybe that's another thing you have not been feeling confident in the direction that you're heading, that you're treading towards. But it's really important to realize that there are many ways to build confidence and sometimes that is giving things away you know in kind of not kind of but receiving that what's the word receiving that uh, that kudos that accolades for from those that we are helping right so we got connection Right, so this is about connecting with people. Again, they're doing secret favors to others for others, and good things are, are to come. So there's something coming up that we are not sure of, you know. And then this fish here saying that riches are coming forward. It says riches coming through stocks. So it's something that we've been investing in, basically. What have you been investing in? Continue to invest in that. You need to kind of get yourself out of this rut of this old way of doing things. But connect with those who you can offer a hand to, that you can share your, your generosity, your abundance, your luck that you're coming into with 
right? And connection here says, I'm connected to the multitudes. I can access their support at any time. Even a stranger offers a sense of comfort when they smile at me or make a dumb comment about the weather. Everyone is waiting to connect. All I need to do is open myself up and pay attention. Note to self, work on the witty banter about weather related stuff. These cards are so silly. So yeah, definitely take some time to connect with others, but also connect with spirit to help you, to help guide you where it is that you're going. And then good things to come says, there are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under the wrapping paper, but they will show up when the time is right. And that's when I'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised. So be ready for something to come connects with those who can support you, who you can support along the journey, and get to shifting, you guys, because something good is coming, the load is lightening, the heaviness is lifting, and I hope that this has been helpful, I hope that this supports you throughout your Thursday, and yes, if you need anything, if you need a reading, holler at me. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow, and have a beautiful day. Bye. So many blessings.